Yeah. Great. Good to see you, my friend. A few questions. Oh, yeah, professional. Yeah, yeah we got a professional I, uh, here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Great. So my question for you, Javier, is tell me a, bit, a little bit about who inspired you when uh, you were younger to do what you do now. That's one of my first questions. Unfortunately, no one. No inspiration. I had no inspiration. I had no guidance as a kid, so uh, there is no one. So where'd you grow up? I grew up the majority of my life in San Jose. San Jose was always kind of a quiet town, but still kind of have a strong underbelly underside. So uh, boxing was your first love? No. No. Uh, uh, I did boxing when I was 12 years old for about a year or so. Um, I, I say boxing was not my first love. It, it was uh, martial arts. Sweet right. science, uh, boxing is, is the oldest sport, but MMA was sort of growing at that time. No, no, you got to get Still your history right. Still <laughs> MMA wasn't growing anywhere. Yeah. Javier anywhere. was it a tennis player in college. It didn't, okay. MMA wow. didn't start till 92, if I'm not mistaken, with Hoist Gracie's first Ultimate 90, Ultimate. 93, 93. 93, 93, yeah. yeah. I was just yeah. getting out of the Navy was, when that happened. was a champion in 92, yeah. 93 was, yeah, it was the Hoist, so yeah, no. You, you got to do your research a little better. But, but no, tell I, but you, you had me going. This, 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 this is the number advice, one. Though. This is he's one of the number one Habib fans. He's making early. Yeah, but I would think he'd have his, you know, stacked right. But he kind of did a big boo boo. Well, well, well yeah, but he's he, he's doing he's doing he's doing so early no, recon. My question was, uh, who inspired you? And you said, said that, no one, no one. So the second part of the question was that uh, you know was it martial artists? It seems to be one of the base of where you started. And what I see in you is that you've taught other people from your heart and soul and put those skills into other fighters that have come through over the previous years. And so you set a really high standard. And my question was, where did you learn it? And you said it, a lot of it came from within. Pretty much. That's incredible. So uh, I was curious about it. I remember I asked you about uh, uh, where you started as far as your first fights also where I was uh, interested in that because I see your picture up on the wall. You got some belts and stuff. Well, first about fight was in 1985 and it was an exhibition with Bill Superfoot Wallace and it was through Scott Coker who was the promoter. He was my friend who was actually my instructor, Scott Coker, and he asked if I wanted to do an exhibition with Bill Superfoot and I said yes and I almost said uh, no, because I was joking. I wasn't serious, and the only reason why I said yes is because a friend of mine that died a few years back was Juan Alexander, told me to stop talking crap. I've never done it in my life, so I don't want to hear you talk until you've accomplished something. Uh, so as a result of Juan Alexander and my father telling me I'll never amount to anything, though my father was only joking, but he said I'll, I'll never amount to anything. So um, that made me do it. So th those two things are the reason why I did some did something in my life. It wasn't, you know, anything encouragement or anything like that. It was the actually the opposite. If you think about it, I was told stop talking shit, you know, do something because you're nothing right now. And that's what happened. It's a chain of events. That was, you know, did you know the Superfoot Wallace was Elvis's personal karate instructor? Wow. This is how it's all connected, right? Right, right. And Scott Coker runs Bellator, was Javier's first instructor. Was he the Tang Sudo? No, he was my first instructor. He was my second one. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So he was the second one. Second one. Yeah. But he was still an instructor. Yeah. Scott Coker was he's an instructor, badass teacher. That's what he was. What a great guy. And now the yeah. sport is, yeah, yeah, is, yeah. is now. He's a good promoter, yeah. And so, you know, I really think you've done a lot for the sport. So I want to uh, thank you at this point because I actually think um, the humble and um, strength that you show uh, goes into your gym, into your family, and into your fighters. And I really think uh, uh, that approach is one of the best ways because the strength cool. comes through in the end. Interview over? You know, interview's yeah. over. You know, he'll be here for Habib. He'll be like right, one of the first over? in line. Interview's yeah. over, You're sir. Talking. You're talking, yeah. Oh, I thought I was on a podcast. <laughs> so the, first time I asked, the first time I talked to you, I said, hey,